Hello, my littles. Welcome to Mammy's Corner. I'm Mammy. <laughs> but you already know that, don't you? All right. Let's do our affirmations. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, let's say them out loud, really loud. I am loved. You can say it louder than that. Come on. I am loved. You are loved. Who loves you? God loves you. Who else loves you? Mammy loves you. Don't you forget it, my littles. All right. Next one says, I am good. Are you good? You better be good. Let's say it again. I am good. Very good, my littles. Now for the last one. I am kind. Very good. Ready? Again. I am kind. Give yourself a round of applause. Yay. Good job. You are good and you are kind. You better stay that way too. All right. So Mammy is still in, whoops, upside down. <laughs> Mammy is still in this book of Disney adventure stories. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button because Mammy likes it when you show me some love by hitting that like button. And make sure you find your comfy chair, maybe your comfy favorite person you want to cuddle with, favorite blanket or pillow, and let's settle down for Mammy to read you a story. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. The Disney Adventure Stories brings you today, do do do, Robin Hood, the jailbreak, do do do. Are you ready? All right, I hope you're comfy. In Sherwood Forest, there lived two thieves. That's right. That's bad, huh? Not nice to steal. One was named Robin Hood, and the other was called Little John. Now, this is Little John, and that's Robin Hood. Are you ready? They were no ordinary outlaws. They stole from the rich to give to the poor. It all began when the good King Richard left to fight in a war, and his greedy brother, Prince John, took over as ruler. Prince John was only interested in becoming rich, so he ordered the sheriff of Nottingham to collect as much tax money as he could. The people of the kingdom became poor and hungry. Robin Hood realized that something had to be done. He knew that King Richard would never have allowed his people to go without food, so he and his friend little John began to steal. The prince was determined to capture Robin Hood, but Robin and Little John were very good at tricking Prince John and the sheriff. No matter how many traps were set, the outlaws always escaped. Prince John decided the only way to get even with Robin Hood was to collect more money from the poor. Triple the taxes, he ordered. Squeeze every last drop out of those peasants. Oh, that's not nice, is it, my littles? Oh. The evil sheriff was only too happy to follow orders. Those who couldn't pay were sent to jail. Before long, the entire town of Nottingham seemed to be locked in jail. The owls, the mice, the rooster, and all the rabbits. Even Robin's friend, Friar Tuck, was taken to prison and sentenced to death for treason. <gasps> Robin Hood and Little John were shocked when they heard about Friar Tuck's fate. A jailbreak tonight is the only chance he's got, Robin said. A jailbreak, replied Little John. There's no way you can get in there. We've got to, or Friar Tuck dies at dawn, Robin told him. He began to plan a daring rescue. What do you think? Will he do it? Let's find out. In the middle of the night, Robin Hood and Little John climbed a ladder and surveyed the castle grounds. Five hefty rhinos and some vultures were guarding the jail. Wolf archers patrolled nearby. It was going to be a tough rescue. Little John snuck up to one of the vultures, captured him, and quietly tied him to a nearby tree. Then Robin Hood put on the guard's outfit so that he could walk around the castle without making anyone suspicious. Hmm. Just you watch this performance, Robin said to Little John. Be careful, Little John warned him. As the lazy sheriff's news, Robin carefully stole his keys and gave them to Little John. You release Friar Tuck and the others, he whispered. I'll drop in on the royal treasury. Robin was determined to give back the money that Prince John had taken from the people of the kingdom. Little John ran up the stairs to the jail cell and began to unlock the prisoner's chains and shackles. Oh, Friar Tuck was so happy he could hardly contain himself. It can't be, he explained. Shh! Quiet, said Little John. 
We're busting out of here. Meanwhile, Robin Hood went to the tower where the prince was sleeping. He climbed up a rope and peered through the window. Prince John was asleep inside a bag of money in each hand. <gasps> Look at that. Sir Hiss, a snake right here, who was the prince's advisor, slept at the foot of the bed. Bags and bags of money were piled around the room. <gasps> Look at that. What's going to happen? Let's find out. Robin Hood tiptoed into the prince's room. He quietly set up a pulley system that went to the window of the jail below where little John, the newly freed prisoners, were waiting. Robin attached the money bags to the ropes and little John pulled them toward him. One by one, the bags disappeared from the room. When Robin was about to leave, he nosed a bag right next to Prince John. See it right there? He got it, snuck over the window, and grabbed onto the pulley rope. Sir Hiss, right there, the snake, woke up as Robin was leaving. The snake grabbed one of the money bags and the rope. Then he wrapped his tail around Prince John's foot. When the bag moved along the pulley, it pulled Sir Hiss and the prince and his bed with it. Hiss and Prince John were sliding across the room. Blam! The bed slammed again to the balcony. The prince clung to the balcony, reeling for dear life. Ah! He screamed. What's going to happen now? Let's find out. Robin was still on the pulley. Guards! yelled the prince. My gold! The guards unleashed a flurry of arrows. Robin moved along the rope, dodging the arrows. When the outlaw reached the jail, the prince fell to the ground with a splat! Still, he ordered the guards to go after Robin. Little John and the prisoners ran to the drawbridge, clutching the prince's gold with Robin Hood close behind. When the guards' arrows flew toward them, Robin shot back a few arrows of his own. Then some of the rhinos charged. Luckily, Little John spotted a cart filled with barrels. He emptied it, and the barrels slammed the guards, knocking them over. The prisoners loaded the gold onto the cart and jumped in. Robin Hood lowered the drawbridge. Little John and Friar Tuck moved the cart across. They were almost out of the castle. But before Robin could catch up with them, a guard cut a rope and a giant metal gate crashed out in front of him. Robin Hood was trapped. <gasps> oh no. Robin told his friends to go ahead and catch up with them later. The sheriff ran to the gate. We've got him now, he boasted to his rhino guards. They charged, but Robin was quick on his feet. He swiftly climbed the gate, grabbed a rope, and swung right into the sheriff, knocking him into a second line of guards. Robin then swung to the top of the castle wall and ran along it. The angry sheriff chased him up the castle tower. He tried to strike Robin with a flaming torch, but set fire to the curtains and rug instead. Robin tried to defend himself, but as the fire filled the room, he was forced to flee up the stairs to the top of the tower. Before long, the fire snaked up the stairs, and soon the flames were biting at his feet. There was only one way out. He'd have to jump. <gasps> oh, no. What's going to happen? With no other choice, Robin Hood bravely climbed out the window and scurried up the spire atop the tower. His friends watched nervously from the shore, hoping that Robin was all right. Prince John ordered his guards to shoot at the trapped outlaw. Robin took a heroic leap and jumped into the moat. See, there he is right there. Far below. Guards fired arrows into the water, hoping to hit him. But no one could catch the clever Robin Hood. Avoiding the arrows, he swam to safety and rejoined his friends. The jailbreak had been a success. The people of the kingdom were free, and they had gotten their hard-earned money back. Soon, King Richard returned and fixed everything. The king even declared that Robin Hood was no longer an outlaw. Now Robin was free for another adventure, to marry his sweetheart, Maid Marian. As for Prince John and his partners in crime, they were sentenced to hard labor. Now, instead of sorting through piles of money... They sorted through piles of rock. <laughs> Robin Hood and the people of the kingdom couldn't imagine anything more fitting. The end. What a story. 
What do you think, my littles? Is it a thumbs up? I sure hope so. Now remember, it's not good to steal. But who was the worst thief here? Robin Hood? Or the ruler in charge, the prince's brother, Prince John? It's a tough one. But two wrongs don't make a right. So please make really good choices and be good and be kind. Now, who loves you? God loves you. Who else loves you? Mammy loves you. But Mammy loves you bestest. <laughs> Until next time, my littles, be good and be kind.